tablespoons of melted butter. We're making the crepe batter. We're making bananas foster crepes. My brother's, okay. my, my baby brother's absolute favorite thing on the planet. And this is a recipe that comes from Brennan's in New Orleans. I bet you've been Very there. famous. Yes, yes, my dad's from Louisiana, so I've been lucky enough. Oh, yep. wow. Yes. Uh, great stuff. But we're putting the bananas into crepes. And I think crepes is something everybody should learn how to make. It's very easy. We're so making the batter. and fun. So yeah. it's butter and salt and milk and eggs. And um, yeah, I think that's it. All salt and there you yeah, go. Yeah, and no sugar because we want these crepes to go both ways, either sweet or savory. Oh, doesn't this that This machine I do understand. <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. All right. So that's it, and then you strain it, right? Right. And the point of straining it, we don't need to because we've already got some, is to get rid of any lumps, and then you let it rest for 30 minutes. Because right. Because what happens when you add liquid to flour and beat it, you develop gluten. Once you beat it with um, liquid, it's like this. <laughs> and so you need to give it a it's half exactly an hour. It's exactly like that. It makes that face. Yes, right, right, right. <laughs> so you don't want tough crepes. You want tender crepes, right? So, okay, Again, so gonna... that sounds so sexy. Doesn't it? You want oh, some tender crepes, baby. We want baby. some tender crepes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get going on the crepes, and then we're going to do the uh, bananas. So do we have heat under this? Yes. Yeah. I assume. Yep. You can turn off the back, though, which is all. Turn off done. the back one. Oops, okay, a little gotcha. bit of butter, a little bit of butter. And then this is my trick. What I do, so you know when you're making pancakes and you get pancake batter all over the counter? That's right, and, and there's drops so everywhere. Yep. I know that, oh, dear, I better work quickly. Okay, we're gonna have a brown <laughs> crepe. Okay, you only need a quarter cup, so I, I do this. That's very okay. clever. And then you I, see, she she has a little underliner for it as it's coming to and from the pan. Right. And I realize, do I have a spatula? We got them over here for sure. Oh, there. Oh, I think oh, look, we have they, like 500. I think there's like 700 of them. Okay. In there. Ooh, I like the blue one. Okay, ready? Look. How hard was that? It's I nice. Mean, come on. Um, Easy. If, if we weren't so busy talking about me today, I yeah. wanted to bring one of you up to have you do it. But <laughs> but at any rate, so I was taught, I'm going to just flop it over there. Right, right, right. Uh, should we do another one and call it a day? No, it's fine. You got a million of them. Okay. It's fine. Anyway, I was taught that um, you can't stack them. This guy looks sad now, doesn't he? No, let's <laughs> go over here. Because Aww. they would stick. And so you had to put wax paper between each one. Who's going to do that? And by the way, they I don't think they stick. they stack beautifully. Well, Look, they do. Well, here's the thing. They're perfect. If you put them in the fridge, sometimes they stick because of the butter, but then you just warm them up and they unstick. And they'll be okay. fine. So we're going to talk about bananas and set okay. one up. So we're making uh, these bananas foster. We've already sort of got it done. Over here, we have some butter, um, and we're going to add brown sugar. You want to put sure that in? Sure. A little bit of cinnamon. And then, oops, a little bit of cinnamon syrup. <laughs> well, that's okay. why you're measuring your no, hand. No, I know, really. Look how much more she just talked I you. know, really. Okay, um, so I've got the, I've got the sugar melted, okay, melted so then into this. In goes the bananas. I'm going to talk about the bananas very briefly while you stir it, and then we'll add the last ingredient and plate okay. up. But at any rate, so when you buy bananas, this is a, a firm ripe banana because it's perfectly yellow. But as right. it gets firmer, it gets browner, and you get brown spots, which are fine, little speckles, and that means it's very ripe. We want a banana like this, and where you peel it is not this end, okay? You want to peel it from this end. It's so much easier. You oh, didn't know like that, that, did you? That's another okay. good one. This I is, told you, she got a million of I've them. I've got so many of them. <laughs> um, it's, yeah. A anyway, here goes our, uh, uh, we're finishing it off with rum. At, um, mm. Yeah. And you just cook it off for a second, although I turned off the heat, so um, this might yeah, be a little more. Yeah, that probably won't. <laughs> that'll be a little more alcoholic. You can never cook off all the alcohol. Don't let anybody Yeah, that's tell another, you. that's another, myth. like a, a, a myth. It does reduce. But it doesn't go Do, away. No, it never goes away. Right. So if somebody can't have alcohol, just leave it out of this one. Okay, we're done. So uh, this we is go. almost ready to have that too, but let's, let's serve let's, this up. Okay, so we have a nice plate here. And um, with the crepes, you want to use sort of the first side down, which is the pretty lacy side. Actually, both sides are pretty. But well, I was going to say, they're, they're gorgeous on both. I know. Well, that's something we were taught in cooking school. Sometimes I can't get away from what I was taught in cooking school, you know? <laughs> Although, um, sometimes I do. But sometimes you, you do. do. I do. I do. I do. So, at any rate, mm. um, here we that go. That looks stunning. We'll just do one. Just I think stunning. we might have some ice cream. No, we don't. But if you did, it would be wonderful. Ice you know, cream, whipped cream. When you make this in home, add ice cream. Or whipped cream. Yes. Or whipped cream. Yes. So, yes.